Hi there, good peoples from all over the all around the world, the globe, and mostly worldwide. I am Sakib Shigdar, aka Nitu Nitin, whatever you wanna call me. <laughs> Which was, I don't give a shit these days. So the topic of this video is Kadeen. What is Kadeen? Kain is a kind of entity that lives and coexists inside, within each and every one of us since our birth moment. Since the moment it took birth, we took our first breath. We got a Kareen entity, Kareen genie, Kareen Jinnah, Kareen demons as a companion. Just to make us do evil deeds, give us side talks, just to make us go sideways and just to separate us from gods and godly work and god great purposes and all that i hope you get what i'm saying could not if not everybody can get it even when i'm making this video they will put some bad thoughts inside your mind like i am gone mad i am crazy what is this little boy talking about and all that they are always inside your head just to give you the negative self-talk and like I said before we aren't our thoughts literally our thoughts are just flowers that passing in the you know, sky they are exactly like that it's for it's, it is up to us that we thought we choose to think and we start we choose to work accordingly and put into action and if I choose bad thoughts negative thoughts negative deeds negative words then the Kalin Jin wins the Kalin demon inside us wins and we lose as godly people so get a hold of your thoughts as soon as you can Instead of thinking positive things for the most part and don't give negativity any place inside your mind or your heart because negative is negative always all the time and positive is all the time positive so to free yourself from Kareen Jin Number one, never give your thoughts full control over your existence and your body. Number two, always try to eat sadvik food. That sadvik, pure, heavenly, aromic food. Like the smell of a flower or a live food when it's properly ripened. So yeah, always shoot sadvik or balatsik or tamsik. Number three, avoid field at all cost. And you might ask, hey Saki, what is field by the way? Field is anything that is nasty, give us, you know, makes us unholy, that is field. And that includes our own shit, our own peace, our own waste, excrimination, and elimination substances. So yeah, we are filled it too. <laughs> but we wasn't. It wasn't always like that. Our true ancestor Adam and Eve, they wasn't filled. They used to live up in there in heaven 
in a holy place, in a sacred place. But then the Satan, the Lucifer, the Azizel, the Iblis, Shaitan, the devil king got jealous of them as a couple living happily. So he tried to do the little dark tricks on them and got them kicked out of heaven. So here we end up here in this shithole called Planet Earth. <laughs> what a joke. In this field, this shit. So anyway, number three, what was that? Stay away from field as much as you can. And always choose flower, fruits, heavenly, scent, perfume, aroma, whatever you want to call it. Be around that. Always choose organic. Pesticides free, etc, etc. You know the drill, by the way. And number four, don't let anybody touch you because they control us through touching us. When they touch us, they put thought inside our mind. That's not even ours to begin with. Somebody else's thought, somebody else's mindset and all that. So don't let anybody touch you because they are not doing that to you. The Karin demons, the Karin Jin, the Karin Jinnat inside them, making them do it unknowingly, unintentionally, without their intents. And when the Karin Jinns touch you as your friend, as your mom, as your boyfriend, as your girlfriend, as your son, as your daughter, as your pet, etc., etc., they suck some energy from your body through that touch to the duration of that touch. Just like that movie, what was it called? In Time by Justin Timberlake. Go watch that on your own time. They suck up some energy from your body and they put evil, bad thoughts and deeds inside your mind. It's called thought plantation. You, you are either gonna see it in your dream as a nightmare or you are gonna see it as what you're gonna think you're crazy just for thinking these thoughts where this these thoughts came from it's not even mine how can i even think that about myself about anybody and that's why you we got confused and making us confused is that first priority the first mission they can do shit to us when we're on the point, on the money, on the focus point, on the focus point. When we have laser focus, they can do shit to us. But when we are lacking focus, doubting ourselves, doubting our family members, etc., etc., they will try to harm us in any and every way as possible. So make sure always listen to your heart and separate thoughts from which is yours, which is your, which is not yours, which is good, which is bad, and which is evil, which is wicked, etc, etc. And if you are religious, if you do believe in some god or some sort of entity, pray for it to say savings. And there is only one true god. The most high God, the almighty creator God, Allah. There is no other creator God than him. So you better accept him as he is or as he comes. So he might accept you and welcome you in the afterlife. The life after this one. After we die, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a judgment day. And we'll all get judged for our deeds. Every single one of us. All the humans and all the demons, the jinnah. They will all get judged by our deeds. And those of us who have the purest of heart inside our chest only make it a cross. Nobody else. So yeah, wash your heart daily with goodness, kindness, gratitude, patience, etc, etc, compassion, empathy.
etc. You get the idea. Wash away your heart. If it's already got dark in like mine. After all, I'm the I'm the both the Mr. Peach Black and Mr. Sweetheart at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's what I call myself. You guys know that I love bullshitting. Just like I'm bullshitting right now. But it do make sense. Doesn't it? So yeah. That was it. How to protect yourself from Karin Jean, Ortiz Karin, etc, etc, etc. The evil within. The wretched.